Hi there, Kinga here. I'm currently on the road, traveling. Uh, I'm in Budapest at the moment. So my background has a bit of a travel vibe. I'm kind of living the digital nomad life and uh, my trusty ring light is missing in action. I left it in a storage. But don't worry, everything else is just as it was. I might just need you to be a little extra forgiving with me right now when it comes to video quality. I need a little time to figure out how to record videos on the go. Thanks for rolling with the changes. If you also want to live like a digital nomad, check out this visualization meditation from me on YouTube or find it in my Etsy store, links below. Today I want to talk about prayers and the power of praying. I used to be religious. I even visited Rome as a child to meet Pope John Paul II, where I had the chance to shake hands with him. And over time, I realized that it wasn't religion itself that drew me in, but the connection to a higher intelligence. And I've always been highly sensitive, let's say, able to tune into others, perceive things beyond the ordinary, and receive what I call downloads from above. Now, these experiences taught me to deeply trust my intuition. And as I grew older, I began to identify as spiritual rather than religious. After attending a church school for six years, I just stepped away from religion entirely. And I haven't really visited churches much since. But that connection to something special, to something greater, just never left me. And my understanding has also expanded to where I no longer refer to it as God, nor do I see it as a singular entity, and definitely not an old man with white beard. I now consider the possibility that what I connect with during prayer or even meditation might not be actually separate from me at all. Perhaps it's a higher, wiser version of myself or my infinite being. And my journey with meditation began at the age of 13 when I took uh, the Silva Method Mind Control course. And back then, I kind of found it difficult to separate my connection to the divine from meditation. So my meditation practice was sort of a blend of prayer and, and, and meditation for many years. I, re I remember I started my meditations by whispering, Dear God. And in recent decades, the word God has taken on some negative associations, got a bad PR, let's say. And the term universe just feels more expansive and inclusive, I think. And it seems to resonate much better with people like yourself and like myself, especially in spiritual communities. And in my 40s, I like to look at prayer as a tool, a tool for aligning with the energy of the universe to receive greater awareness and clarity and contribution rather than asking for something specific, something external to change a situation. So instead of praying in a conventional sense, I also sometimes just throw questions out into the space or into the universe, like, what else is possible? How can it get any better than this? If you know the teachings of access consciousness, you have met these questions. Or my other favorite is, who or what can I add to my life today that would fix this or make this easier or better or more fun or whatever I need help with? And I just leave it there. I don't try to fabricate answers with my mind. I just allow the answers to, to pop up, to show up in whatever shape or form they may come. And these questions are designed to expand awareness and invite the universe to present new possibilities. And they always work for me. And I was thinking that what if the phrase ask and you shall receive from the Bible can also be interpreted in a more expansive and open-ended way. Instead of focusing on asking for something specific and expecting a fixed result, what if they meant that asking questions 
is the way to open up possibilities and invite the universe to contribute in unexpected ways. I like, I like the idea to be in a state of openness, in a state of curiosity, rather than attaching to a specific outcome. Because when you ask for or expect a certain outcome or solution to your problem, you are already limiting yourself because you can only be creating and asking for whatever it is from what you already know or have experienced. And that is very limiting, my friend. Instead, you could just ask, what else is possible that I haven't considered yet? And I also think that by asking these open-ended questions, you can align yourself with the energy of receiving without limiting the ways in which the universe can surprise you and provide for you. And in this way, ask and you shall receive becomes about creating an energetic space where infinite possibilities can show up, not just the specific thing or things that you are asking for. And this differs from more traditional interpretations, which might focus on receiving exactly what you asked for. Instead, try just asking questions and tapping into the universe abundant potential, allowing more than, more than you could consciously imagine. I think Dr. Joe Dispenza says, expect the unexpected. Now, if you enjoy the idea of non-traditional prayers, I have created a series of them for my Insight Timer profile. Although they don't feature open-ended questions, at least not the ones that I'm publishing at the moment, they are different from most prayers that you have heard. They are coming out on my Insight Timer profile within the coming weeks, let's say, and I'm going to leave the link below to my Insight Timer profile. And until then, you can already listen to my prayer to the universe for guidance and the prayer to the universe for healing on YouTube. Links below. Give them a try, like them, share them, leave a comment and let me know how they make you feel. If you can show them some love and support here on YouTube, I promise that I'm going to publish their prayer for abundance and their prayer for finding love shortly here on my YouTube and on my Inside Timer as well. So you pick whichever platform you prefer. So what do you think of praying? Do you pray at all? If you do, how do you pray? If you do not, then why not? I would love to know your thoughts and routines when it comes to connecting to the higher guidance and, and manifesting in general. Leave me a comment. And again, if you're looking for heartfelt modern prayers that resonate with today's spiritual seekers, be sure to follow me on Inside Timer. The prayers that are coming to my Inside Timer profile were designed to help you connect with the universe, to find guidance, healing, love, and abundance. Listen to them and let me know how they move you. More are coming soon. Stay tuned. Until then, like, share and subscribe. Hope to see you around. Take care. Bye.